Hey, how's it going there, fishing buddies? We're back here at the fish camp, and it's a Thursday night, and I'm planning on going on fishing tomorrow. Uh, been a while since I've been fishing. I've been out in the boat a lot. It's been gorgeous weather. I've been here with the family during 4th of July, and uh, we just did a lot of hitting the islands and going to restaurants, um, hitting some of the beaches like Cayo Costa and Upper Captiva, and the water's been awesome. It's been calm. It's been great. The fishing forecasts weren't that good, so I didn't even bother. I just decided to spend some time with the family and, and I just put the fishing poles down for a while. But I came back here this weekend early and it's Thursday night, so I'm planning on going out fishing tomorrow. Charging up all my electronics and GoPro batteries. Making coffee tonight instead of uh, waking up tomorrow morning and sitting around for the coffee to be made. What I do is I'll come here on a Thursday night and I'll just make a full pot and I'll stick it in the refrigerator and I'll have iced coffee in the morning. And also, could grab a pub sub, but I take off the wilted lettuce they always put on there and add some uh, pickles and some mustard so I already have my sandwiches ready. Last night, by the time I got in, all the bait shops were closed. So uh, I need to run here just to get some shrimp and uh, they don't open till 7. Well I got a later start than I wanted to but it's not horrible because when I got to the bait shop I was just gonna get some frozen shrimp but they had some live pinfish so I was able to get about eight of those and uh, that saved me from having to stop somewhere and try to sabiki some um, of the pinfish so it might have actually just evened out. It would have been great if I uh, had stuff last night and could have left the dock around 6 o'clock in the morning to get to where I'm fishing, but um, I've been out a lot later than this. I changed spots and right away I caught three different species. I got a lane snapper, I got a... what did I get? I got a puffer fish, and I got a red I don't think he's quite big enough. We're gonna, gonna have to measure this. And also look it up, but he's close. That's a nice size red. He's doing some drift fishing over this spot here. It's just a 53 foot hole. And I'm thinking just the water is maybe just a little bit cooler down the bottom there. It's another red grouper. This one's even smaller than the last one. I would love to catch me a grouper that's over 20 inches. I just moved to another spot. This is a spot that I was heading to. Oh, it's down here with a small red grouper. Again, not a keeper. A grouper seemed to be the fish of the day. This one hit good, whatever it was. Ooh, might be the best fish of the day. Oh, he's a good one. He's a rod bender right here. Ooh, it is a hogfish. This could be good. I need him to be 14 inches. He looks it. He certainly looks it. Well, I hope I got that hogfish on tape. But I just got a blue runner, good size blue runner. I'm not gonna keep him. Um, he would be good for cut bait, but I have plenty of bait today, and uh, they're edible. I've eaten one before, but uh, this is my sixth species of the day. Got yeah, a very distinct hit. Well, not that distinct. They hit like a catfish. Actually, this is not. This just screwed me up because it was up. Oh, it actually was a white grunt and a red grouper. The white grunt came off at the last second.
just look at how beautiful those fillets are. These are, they look a little pink in the uh, video, I can see, but these are so white. They're almost like, like scallops, like just very, almost like translucent. They are beautiful. I am so looking forward to this. I'm kind of feeling lazy tonight. I don't have a lot of ingredients because after last week and we cleaned the refrigerator out, so we took, you know, the eggs and breadcrumbs and everything out of here. But uh, I'm just going to grab the bag. I'm going to bring it down to the local restaurant and they're going to cook it for me. So here we are at the restaurant. This is uh, in Boquilia, Florida. It's called the Lazy Flamingo. And the funny thing about this place is about 13 years ago, my very first fishing trip in Florida, I uh, was on a charter and the captain brought us here for lunch and we cooked the fish that we caught. So this is kind of nostalgia happening right here. As far as the lane snapper goes, just blackened it in a frying pan, put it on a sub roll with some pickles and some mayo. And uh, I know this is going to be good. Nice lunch next day. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.